Just keep on making your way over here, boys. I think I'll be able to kill Steelix before it gets taken away by the magical crane hand of justice. There are huge blind spots in a lot of areas for flyers to just sit in, so defending is busted with flyers. I believe it. All right, good. Get rid of you, and then hopefully Hydreigon gets close enough. Beedrill doesn't fly in this game? That is weird. No, hopefully not, Raptor. Hopefully not, my dude, because they're... Big thunderstorms are not fun, or snowstorms for that matter. I hardly ever see those where I live, but... Even small amounts of snow gets on my nerves, so I can only imagine a snowstorm would literally just make me have a stroke with how irritated I would be. I have triple your health, Nobunaga. You're not winning. You got 34% link with your Hydreigon, dude. I'm over 80. Why are you even bothering? Just honorably surrender. I'm about to break 90%, my dude. Goodbye. He's done it. Thank goodness he attacks Valora instead of Spectra. Volcarona is similar to Beedrill. Oh, Volcarona also doesn't, like, actually fly. That's weird. Okay. So, all we have to do is register Munshigi and register Ginchio, and we can do that and attack uh, and defeat Nobunaga at the same time, I'm pretty certain. So let's just knock out both of those things at once. One, two, three. Call in reinforcements. One, two, three. Here we go, boys. Time to save Ransag. I am like 98% certain that registering does count for the final battle of an episode, but we're going to find out the hard way. I need to go ahead and check off Kinshio and Munshigi on my list. Boom, there we go. How many, let me see here, how many people do I, how many main warlords do I not have with their perfect link in their final game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen? Still, that's more than I thought. I thought I would be down to like ten by now. Having to watch other people play Crash Racing, apparently you can boost it up to like three times per drift. Yeah, I know. I'm just not very good at the drifting in that game. I also just don't like the way the drifting works in that game. It doesn't feel very smooth to me. I also don't like the way the boost works where you use it multiple times because it makes the speed inconsistent, and I don't like it. In Mario Kart, if you get a boost, you get one consistent boost from drifting. And I prefer that much more. Yeah, it's, Ransay is saved until the next time someone decides to try and take it over. Exactly. Also, I'm probably, like, not going to play much, if any, more Crash Racing. I'm definitely not doing any more streams or uh, recordings of it. Only time I might play it is if I want to play, uh, if Sly and Michael are like, hey, we really want to play some Crash Racing. And I'm like, well, I want to be in call, so I guess I'll play it with you. I'm just going to mark you for death. Something else might kill you instead, but I'm just going to mark you for death. After watching someone 101% complete the game, Chaos, I think you won't even be able to beat the first world. Of what? Crash Team Racing? I don't care. Crash Team Racing isn't bad. The main thing it has going for it is that it is very beautiful. It's a very nice looking game, but it's just, uh, mechanics just aren't as enjoyable as Mario Kart's mechanics. That may come from me having played Mario Kart for so long that I just can't get behind any other controls other than it, but I stand by what I say. Ow, crit.
Get intimidated, son. Let me see here. Let's do this. I don't mind getting... Oh, no, I can't do that. Never mind. Wait a minute. Do this. Yeah, there we go. Get Krogunk out of here. I don't like the look of Team Sonic Racing. I've seen people play a good deal of it, and it just doesn't look as appealing to me as Mario Kart or or the um, this, uh, the Crash game. I'd rather play the Crash game, just aesthetically speaking, instead of uh, the Crash one. Why did I move you there? I was like, move him out of the way of Fire Spin, right? Okay, cool. I thought I still had him in the range of Fire Spin for a second there. Whatever. probably like Team Sonic Racing, I'm never going to play it. <laughs> There's no... The only reason I even got Crash Team Racing is because Slyro played it a lot as a child, and he was like, yo, check it out. And so I did. It's the only reason I bought it. I have no desire for any other racing game. Sonic's Racing is more skill-based with no BS items. That doesn't sound fun at all. I'd play a legit racing game if I wanted that. I want Mario Kart style racing. Apparently I played something like a sequel to Crash Team Racing. Well, the remake, the remake is a remake of two different games. It's Crash, Crash Team Racing and like Crash Nitro Racing or whatever it was called. That's why it's called Nitro Fuel. Slyro was explaining it to me the other day. But it, uh, it is, it is two games remastered into one, not just one game. Also, we've won. Easy peasy. Ha, and your name is? I am Mitsuhide, your, like, right-hand man that betrayed you three years ago. You remember me. Oh my word, over 970 damage. We have emerged victorious from this battle. Yeah, you still register, people. You register in any fight, even if it's the last one. I thought so. There we go. I got everything I wanted accomplished in this one. I have claimed victory. None of you mean anything to me. I'm not recruiting any of you. Get away from me. I still had like 11 years to, 11 years to spare. I am still unsure. I don't know if what I did was right or whether I need to do more. Mitsuhide. Lord Nobunaga. You have overcome Nobunaga. Now you must fulfill your dreams. I will not permit you to stop. My Lord. My dream was always to create a new peaceful Rensei in your name. But that would appear to be impossible now. But at least, at least I can try. Try and fulfill your destiny on your behalf, Lord Nobunaga. Alright then. And so Mitsuhide set out with new determination to change the world and create a better future. Even if it was to be a future without Nobunaga. All right, that's another episode down, boys. Wonder what episodes we unlocked from that, if any. Come on, come on. Mitsuhide's promotion in Articuno unlocked? Yes, indeed. Switch, welcome back. Oh, no, Bunaga's story. That makes a lot of sense. And also No's story, apparently. And Gracia's. All right, Gracia we can do whenever because we got her fully evolved, so I wouldn't mind doing hers. Oh, hers is... Right, right, right. Hers is one of the side warriors. Yep. Lapras is adorable, I agree. Uh, I don't want to do Nose until I evolve her, and that'll probably be a while. No and Nene will probably be the last two we evolve. We do have Masanori's story, no uh, story to knock out. We can do that whenever. That's a quick one. Okuni, I think, is already fully evolved, so we can do hers as well. Tell of how a young Nobunaga, dismissed as a mere fool, came to become the mightiest warrior in all of Ransei. I'm going to save Nobunagas for later, definitely. 
You get Nobunaga's story just after finishing nine episodes. Makes sense. Could do Hide Yoshi's. I don't want to do Iyasu's yet until I get Tadakatsu his uh, Beldum, which we will hopefully do in Hide Yoshi's story. Could do Genchio's now that she's evolved. Uh, I don't want to mess with Kotaru's because I'm still mad from last time because the Zora stuff is stupid. Uh, Konoichi is not evolved yet. Don't want to do hers. Don't want to do Kanatsugu's because he's not evolved yet. Oichi, Yoshimoto. Might just knock out, like, Oichi's and then knock out Masanori's, potentially. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go use the restroom. I have got to take a quick bathroom break. I will be back in, like, two minutes, chat. It's not even going to take me two minutes. I'm going to be back in, like, less than a minute. But I will be right back, and then we'll choose an episode and continue. So, you know, don't destroy everything while I'm gone. I am back. There we go. Kid Perfect, hello, welcome to the stream. I do still have Yoshimoto's episode, it'd be nice to get rid of that. You check the gallery to see if the warriors were registered, props, paranoid, but wanna make sure. I, I know that they are, it showed me the little image of the little ball going next to them after I did it, so I, I am 100% positive that they are registered. You're talking about Genshio and, uh, what's-his-face, right? There's rank 2 Genshio registered, and then... Where is... Moonshigi, rank 2. I told you. Alright. So, what story do I want to do? I kind of want to do Hideyoshi's. That'll be the next big one we do, actually. Okay, let's do, uh... How many have I finished now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've only finished nine, really? All right, let's do Masanori and knock his out, I think. No, 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 wait. Do Oichi's, then Masanori. The Rose of Ransei. Spurred on by your friends and followers, Oichi enters a contest to decide the rightful owner of the, titles, of the title, Ransei's Greatest Beauty. Let's go. Times were changing. Central Ransei was entering a period more opulent than any it had seen before. The beauty of its female warlords had become famous, and there was a growing clamor to find out who was the fairest of them all. The other kingdom's warlords are also famous, and I'm just nothing by comparison. Oh my, aren't we modest? Huh? You are. Seven warlords, all women. Us. <laughs> Not quite. There's only one thing left to decide. Who will be Queen of Ransay? Queen? You may not want to do it, but I think your allies probably believe you have what it takes. Alright. I don't believe any of this Ransay's greatest beauty stuff that everyone's talking about. But I will do what I can for those who believe in me. Challenge accepted. Best Crash game is the Beast one, where you put, I think, Aku Aku on monsters to control them. Are you talking about... Super Mario Odyssey? Sounds like you're talking about Super Mario Odyssey. This game is on DS. Yes, that is correct. Came back out in, uh, what, 2012, I think?
going to immediately... Oh, wait, I'm not going to get Dragon Rage out of this. Because Zelda Maru has real Lunail. I mean, I could use Dratini for Dragon Rage, but that's not how I play the game. Oh, we can get Axu, though. Alright, I want you to hit this ball out of the way. Be gone. You can recruit Nobunaga in Hideyoshi's episode, so you could at least get Zuelius or even Hydreigon to make his episode easier. I don't think we'll have any trouble on Nobunaga's episode, whether I recruit him early or not, because Nobunaga is a strong character. You know what, we should definitely do Hide Yoshi's episode next, because, uh, or maybe after Masanori's, I mean. Because, um, I have... Two AKO is good. I have Shingen and Kenshin stories done now, so we can, uh... We can get one or both of them to get Groudon. And Groudon and, uh, the other thing. Mewtwo. That'd be a good thing to get done in Hide Yoshi's episode. That and trying to get a lucky Beldum Swarm for Tadakatsu. Ow. Please crit. That's not a crit. You're definitely dead next turn though, that's fun. Shame you can't use ground on or Mewtwo until you evolve them. Yeah, I mean you can, but it'd be stupid because they wouldn't be able to evolve. It is really dumb. They should all be like Mewtwo Hide, where Mewtwo Hide can just uh, he can use uh, Articuno to evolve. Yes, we also have to get Hide Yoshi to 70% link with Rush Ram to get that third form. You are correct. Which is why I made sure to evolve him to his second form in Mitsu Hide's episode. So that way we can focus on getting Resh Ram's link up in in his own episode. I totally forgot that your ability, if it ever decides to proc, is broken because it just puts the enemy to sleep. It just never procs. Which, you know, balances out pretty well. That was close. We almost got screwed over there. Did not get the Axu for Dragon Rage, but whatever. This is an easy-to-do episode anyways. It doesn't really matter. Get Riolu up in here. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to recruit Mitsu Hide in, uh, in Hide Yoshi's episode. I'll save getting Articuno for Nobunaga's episode. We have so many episodes to do. We don't have to, like, rush getting Legends or anything like that. We can just take our time, really, which is kind of how I want to do it. Uh, let's just, uh, not leave Genchio for now, because I'd rather, like, recruit Aya, or... Actually, where's... Ugh, Kai is over in Avia, isn't she? No, she's in Kragsburg. Dang it, I want... I want to get Darmanitan. That makes this way easier. This might be a little rough, but let's do it. Yeah, I know that I can still use Dratini with Ranmaru, but that's just not how I play the game. I just like to make everything more difficult. Are you gonna teach me a lesson, are you? I don't really care if we recruit Aya or not, doesn't really matter. Alright, Riolu, you grab this. You adorable little doggo. Have Staraptor do this. Illusio, I totally did not think this through. Illusio is gonna be a lot more annoying with only three Pokemon. But it will still be doable. Where are you going? That's fine. Please come over here so I can force palm you. What does orange go? It still goes where Staraptor is. Okay. Is Ina evolved? Her skill is pretty good with Empoleon. I don't think she's evolved yet. I'm pretty sure she still has Prinplup too, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure, but I might be wrong. I need to try and be a little careful with uh, Staravia here. Because getting all of these banners is going to be a lot easier if I just make sure my Staravia doesn't die. 
because flying will be very useful. Oh, perfect. Orange is where I want to go. Have Wiggly Tough get this one over on the left. All right, this should do a decent amount. Oh, yeah, perfect. What's your ability? Healing. Cub 2 has entered the death zone. He's definitely going to be taking some damage here. Para, let's go. It's not hacks if you call it, boys. And this stupid idiot Ralts can't hit me at all. I think it's going to take two more hits to kill it, though, because of... Oh, no, I might actually still kill you with the next wing attack. Perfect. And I will have Wigglytuff chase down this, uh, whatchamacallit. How much is this going to do? Not much. Okay. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? This is what we're doing right now? Whatever. Kill you. There we are. Okay, so you planning on playing the remake of Destroy All Humans? I have no idea what you're talking about, so no. There is another new game I'm going to be doing on Twitch fairly soon, though. I just want to finish uh, Spectrobes first. So it'll probably happen in the next, like, two weeks or so. And it will be good, I promise you. I think chat will be very excited to uh, see it. Take one more hit before I use your healing ability. Mine. Ow. Please stop being frozen. Thank you. I could have just used Oichi's thing to remove status effects, but it seemed like a waste of her healing. Nice. Got a slightly high roll. Love it. Uh, you should go ahead and heal. Don't even bother picking that up. Just start flying over to the Atkins. It's next on your list is taking that one over there. I get fully parried, son. Come back over here. Riolu isn't done with you yet. I still want to talk. Got that one. What do I just need? I just need the Ekans one now, right? We've got this in the bag. I really like Luzio's music, but I don't know why. Stupid healing. Whatever. Got parried so it couldn't hit me. Remember once I finished Illusio with one turn left? I think I finished Illusio with like one or two turns left in this playthrough, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was during the hero's first story, if I remember right. It was within like two or three turns at the least. It was very close. And it came down to uh, my Eevee not dying to Gallade. I think. It was very good. Where, uh... Yeah, take the orange portal. Oh, this is where Cub Chew is going. Perfect. I can double hit Cub Chew like this. Excellent. Whoops. Now just comes the process of killing this thing in time. Royal Humans was a game series where you play as a gray alien that comes to Earth, basically using deadly alien weapons and psychic abilities and a UFO, to try and destroy and control all the humans they can. Yeah, it doesn't really sound like it interests me at all, so I highly doubt I'll be playing it any. Intimidate! Now Riolu should be able to kill you next hit. Not that killing you even matters. All that matters is getting this stupid banner. Which hopefully Wigglytuff is going to help me do here in a second. I get fully parried again, son. Sucks to be parried, doesn't it? Riolu is about to force palm you in the face so hard gonna give you the pimp slap. That's what Riolu is all about. Hopefully you died a hyper voice now. 
Unfortunately, I'm also going to have to hit Staravia because I didn't move Staravia out of the way, but that is not my problem. There we go. He's done it. And so now we win next turn, no matter what. Perfect. And you get to die as well. Oh, it's just a perfect day. About two hours and 40 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Three HP. Or two HP, I mean, you took three damage. May as well grab this stuff because I can. He's done it. That took ages. Oh, wait, I bet I recruited Aya because I beat her with Force Palm. Oh, yeah, dude, sick. Excellent. Because she's evolved, isn't she? I think she is. Evolved and has Frostlass, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Very good. Now we got a full team set up. I just want to grab Kai really quickly. And then we'll work on wrapping up this episode as fast as we can. It's not going to be like with Ranmaru. I'm not trying to get any unique... Uh, I'm not trying to get any unique perfect links or anything. Like I was with Riolu. And we'll save no for last because Terrera is the easiest win ever. So we'll take Kragspur, then we'll take Avia, then we'll jump back over to Violite, and then we'll hit up Terrera. Let's go. And then we will be the victors at long last. And then I guess we'll knock out Masanori's story really quickly. Just to be able to say that I've made even more progress. And then I think we're going to do Hide Yoshi. That sounds like a plan to me. Alright. Ralts, you open up the gate. <laughs> Kai's only got two. She's just got one other warrior with her. This is going to be easy. This is a Larvitar. Larvitar will die easily to Icy Wind. And then we'll just hit Pan Seer really hard and fast with Hyper Voice and Force Palm. This is going to be one of the easiest wins of our career. What is your... Oh, you have a range up. Okay, I was about to say, what are you using ability for already? I cannot believe that you reached Frost last with that. Are you kidding me? Come on, game. Her ability must have included flinching. That's annoying. Whatever. Get Force Palm. I need to win this in like two more turns to make sure that I get you recruited. Heard later in the game there's a Gabite officer that challenges you when you're on a winning streak. Uh, that's an event that can happen, it just doesn't happen very often. And by very often, I mean almost never, but yeah, I've seen that happen. Goodbye to you. Kermit, hello, welcome back. Uh, we finished Mitsu Hide's episode, is probably what you missed. We evolved all of the main warlords I was using in Mitsu Hide's episode, so like Munshigi, Genshio, Modinari, Gracia, and there was one other, I think. Hide Yoshi to level 2, so has to get to his third level. And now we're in Oichi's level because, or Oichi's episode, I mean, because I wanted to knock it out really quickly. Do, do, do. Thank you for the darn mana, 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 tin. Dang it. There we go. Just drop you an Illusio. That's fine. We're going to take out Ina next, I think. 